so we have an array here 7 8 9 and then we have a function f we are going to pass the array to the function and in the function we're going to print all the elements in the array uh, but if we compile it or not compile it uh, I interpret it uh, we're gonna get 7893 which 3 is not what we expected to get so what's happening here well in Perl we don't actually have function signature so when we uh, do F and then we pass the array and then 3 everything is put into an array this thing right and then we're just naming the things we got from the array and for whatever reason uh, it seems that uh, every element is put into this array and so if we you know if we run it uh, the array uh, that's here has the 789 from the array and then 3 and you know, if we try to print arc2, apparently it's uh, uninitialized, so it, it's not uh, actually capturing uh, the last argument. So in this case, if you want to get the actual correct uh, result, what you may want to do is pass by uh, reference, or in C, pass by address, or not it's passed by value but we're passing the address right so uh, we can change this to a scalar uh, because you know we're just passing the address right which is just some numbers and uh, since we are uh, passing the address we would want to dereference the address and actually uh, get the array right just like C right just like uh, the what was it called the asterisk in um, C and in this case the asterisk or the dereference symbol operator is uh, the dollar sign which is kind of confusing because uh, then we would have like this or yeah, and this this is like yeah, this syntax is absolutely disgusting, but you know, whatever. And uh, well, since we are, uh, we have a reference here. We're expecting the address. Uh, we would want to uh, pass the address of the array, so uh, the equivalent of the address of operator uh, you know the uh, the an in C right like and pointer uh, or no an array or something is uh, the backslash and if we do this a global R what Oh, ref. Then we actually get the correct result. And uh, I don't know if this will work because, well, I guess it doesn't see because it uh, the if we pass the array itself, it will uh, become a pointer. But uh, I guess it doesn't in uh, Perl. So. To dereference uh, an address, you're going to need the dollar sign, and if you want to, uh, what's it called? Uh, get the address, you would want to do, or you would want to use the backslash. And of course, since we are passing uh, the address of the array we are modifying the original array so if we print well you know I guess if we 
uh, modify the array here let's say this and again this is kind of confusing right because <laughs> we have this I think this works or does it wait what were uh, I think that works but uh, let's see oh I guess this and this is the same thing I guess <laughs> uh, I'm not really sure but uh, yeah I guess that works but uh, if we see the result uh, we have 789 and then in this function or we're passing the address of the array to this function and in the function we are modifying the first element uh, we uh, uh, change it to 1 uh, now we get 189 we have modified the original array and uh, yeah I guess you can either use this or this the same thing I guess Pearl is weird <laughs> Uh, but uh, if you want to, you know, refer to the actual array, then you would need this. Uh, so I guess you put the D reference after the uh, symbol. I guess it's kind of weird. Uh, what's wrong here? <laughs> oh, ref, and then this this will not work because it will be interpreted as scalar yeah yeah it's a it's a weird language <laughs> but uh, yeah just like C you need to pass arrays by the uh, address oh and specifically you know use the backslash you need the actual address of operator instead of you know it's different from C I guess so yeah, hopefully that was useful. And of course, uh, if you want to, I guess you could do the same with scalar variables. So if I have a string here, and let's say a string reference We can do the same with a string or any uh, scalar variable. And then if here we modify it to world. So first we have hello. And then uh, here we have world. So if we print the original string. Uh, so if we print the or original string stir um, syntax error uh, what <laughs> oh that's a colon so yeah it also works with strings now I guess passing by reference or yeah passing by reference sh it it should be faster because we're not copying the string so it you know it may use realloc <laughs> you know, instead of uh, 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 stir dup to like in instead of like uh, mallocking the string again just for the function but I don't know I, I haven't looked at the implementation of Perl <laughs> so I, I can't really say anything but uh, yeah 